Hey, hello everyone, how are you? So, I already started this project here, it's empty, I just created a new project called Superhero, right here, you can see it here, but you will need a character, you know, you need a character, so let's look for it right now. There's this website called Mixamo, it's really good. I always use characters from here. I also was doing some tests. So let's look for some character now because you need a character, right? To start your project. There is a specific one here. I always use him. Where is him? Oh my gosh. And nope, I don't want to use one. Let's try to find him. download the character on this pose T pose for me it works so let's download this one just a moment and download it just remember you can download any character you want you know it doesn't really matter you know it's not serious if you want a low poly or if you want a 3D character realistic you know or these simple characters here or you know or more detailed characters it's your option you can choose it okay and now let's take some animations for this for this tutorial for this class I'm gonna use idle we need an idle position idle animation and also we need a run because we need it <laughs> yeah there's this one here make sure you always download it in place because we're not gonna use a root motion for this for this course so we're just gonna use in place download it too after this one we also need a walk animation just remember you don't need to download exactly what I'm doing. You don't need to do exactly what I'm doing here. You can do it in your own project. You can download the animation you want. If you have a pack in the asset stores or something like that. If you have your own animation, if you're good to make animation, <laughs> it's up to you. Just do it. Okay. And also we need a flying. Oops, not fluing. <laughs> Spreading flu around there, right? No, I'm just kidding. That's a bad joke. Especially in this time. Okay, let's take this one here, flying in place, and download it. And okay, that's it, finally. Okay, back in the unit now. We need to go and download. Let's take this one and download folder. I download flying. I download running, walking, idle, and also the character. Right? Just ignore these other things I have here and everyone downloads a lot of things so it's totally fine let's to create to a folder because we need to make organizations here you need to make you need to make it organized right let's create this first folder called scripts let's duplicate it and let's rename it for animations okay um, it's pretty much that for now so we just take all the animations and through inside the animation folder okay inside the animation folder we also need to create another folder called animator controller animator controller and inside the animator controller we're gonna create a animator controller let's call this one ground okay ground Control D to duplicate it and we rename this one for flying, not fluing, <laughs> flying. And that's it because we need two different animator controllers to make different positions, right? Like when he's walking, he's gonna be using this one. And then we switch to flying when he's actually flying. I prefer to work in this way. There, you can also use layers, but I, for this course, I'm gonna use 
animator controller. We're gonna use some states and something to switch it, you know, and you can make it different. Okay. Um, what more we need? Okay, we also need a plan. Let's to create a plan for now, and that's it. We create it. Now we need to create another folder called material. And then inside the material folder, we're gonna go and create a material. Let's call this, uh, actually let's call just uh, plain, just like that, and it's okay. Remember, this is just name I choose because I'm more familiar with this one, I use this one, but you guys can choose whatever you want. And here, when you select the material, you're gonna go here and select this kind of squares here you know because it's make it make it easy to see the ground better I always use this blue one just for testing of course and also I could like to put like 30 and then here and Y I gonna put 30 and inside the plane the scale I gonna make the scale an X for 30 and Z 30 and that's enough because we're gonna have space enough to look around and you know and see some things you take the material now and you just drag into the plane and that's it you see beautiful right <laughs> that's it um, let's go now and just drop the character here I like to put here in 0 X 0 I mean 0 Z and then you just double click and he's right here in the middle of this blue big playing <laughs> let's rename the, the character for player so for the player we also need to add a character controller okay character controller let's put this up and the height okay just gonna make it a little bit shorter and put it down if you hold the right button on the mouse and use W W, S, A, and D, you can move around. Also, if you use E, you go up, and key, you go down. You see? E, up, D, and key, and Q, you go down. So, I like to use the, the um, these buttons because it makes it easy to, to control the character and everything, to control everything, and to look, in ar to look around, it makes it really faster and easy. If you hold Shift, it's gonna make fast you know so also the radios I gonna make it close to the size of his body okay because it, it's better to to spread to respect like the you know it's it gonna work as a collider okay <coughs> I'm sorry guys I was surfing a couple days ago and now <laughs> my my throw is like this so right now for now this class is gone for now that's it for the first class in the next class we're gonna start to build some canvas and actually work on some scripts and some to the camera and everything okay thank you bye bye